Are you looking for a cheap and convenient way to take and print your passport photo from the comfort of your own home using just your iPhone? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the process of how to do that coming right up. Dream vacations start here. Hey, it's Ben with Ben Tennis Dream Vacations Travel Agency. And on this channel, I provide weekly travel information and tips to help you plan for your next vacation. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So whether you're applying for the first time or renewing your passport, the process is going to be the same. But before we get set up to take our photo, let's first go through the requirements needed so we don't end up submitting a photo that can't be used for our passport. So the requirements are, number one, submit a color photo taken within the last six months. Number two, use a clear image of your face. Do not use filters commonly used on social media. Three, have someone else take your photo, no selfies. Number four, if you wear glasses, make sure those are taken off. Number five, use a plain white or off-white background. Number six, use a neutral facial expression or a natural smile with both eyes open. Number seven, wear clothes you would normally wear on a daily basis. And number eight, you can wear jewelry and keep facial piercings as long as they do not hide your face. So now that we have reviewed the requirements, let's go ahead and get set up to take our photo. So the first thing we're gonna need is a white background. The only white background I have in my house is in my basement. So here's my white background. Uh, if you don't have a white background in your house, you could also use a white sheet. Or if you know how to use Photoshop or some kind of other photo editing software, you could use that as well, where you can pretty much take a picture behind any background and get the background removed and put up a white background behind you. But I'm assuming most of you watching this video are not gonna go through the trouble of trying to figure that out. So we'll just keep it simple. Use a background, a white background that you have at your house. And then the next step here is to have someone take your picture for you. So let's go ahead and get that set up. So once you have your background and you're ready to take your photo, you wanna go into your phone, hit the camera button and choose photo, or some phones might have portrait mode. You can use that as well, but either one will work. And then you wanna make sure that you're using the outside camera and not the inside camera on the screen side. The outside camera is gonna give you a better picture. Uh, and then you wanna make sure that it, the phone is up and down. This is called portrait mode, as opposed to sideways, which is landscape mode. And don't worry about the attachment to this uh, phone. This is just a microphone for audio purposes for this video. You don't need it at all. Uh, so you wanna be in portrait mode. And once you have that set up, uh, make sure the person who's taking your photo is about arm lengths away. Uh, all you need to do is make sure that the top of your shoulders are in the photo as well as the top of your head with some space in between uh, the top of the photo and your head and as far as lighting goes make sure that if you're next to a window make sure the light is shining on your face and not behind you you can also use a lamp or some kind of light behind the behind the uh, camera uh, to light your face up or you can just use the light that's on your phone which is what i'm going to use and and obviously, if it looks a little bit uh, like it's not bright enough, we can also adjust it when we upload it. You know, it'll be time to edit, make it brighter, change the contrast, and that kind of thing. So don't worry too much about what the picture looks like now. As long as it's clear and not fuzzy, it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and take that picture. So when you're taking your photo, make sure you've taken a bunch of them so you can choose uh, the one that you want to use for your passport photo. And just make sure that it's either not too close like this picture or too far away. You want it to be about arm lengths away. So, so this picture looks like a good one to use. Uh, it's okay to be a little bit farther away. We'll be able to crop into the picture later on. Uh, so next, once we've chosen the picture that we want to use, we want to go to travel.state.gov. And once you're on the website, uh, you, in the search bar, you want to type in photo tool, hit enter. And then uh, you want to scroll down uh, in the second kind of link or paragraph here, you'll see a link for photo tool. You want to click on that link. You'll see that here at the top of the page. Click on photo tool and it'll bring you to this page here. And then at the bottom, you'll see a, uh, a button called choose photo. Just take that, click photo library, choose the photo that you want to use, and then you'll save it. Uh, you'll click actual size is fine. And it'll load it up to the screen here. And then if that looks good, you can accept and proceed. Or if it looks off for you, then you can scroll down to a button called Crop Manually. So I'm going to click that button just to show you what that looks like. And it'll bring up a tutorial of what you need to do. So you need to drag up the uh, two red eyes up to on top of your own eyes. Uh, and then you can also zoom in or zoom out, uh, rotate it if you need to rotate the picture. So I'm just gonna put the eyes, the red eyes over mine, 
and it'll show up like a box. Obviously, it's a little bit off, so I'm going to adjust it so my face looks centered in the picture. Uh, that looks good there. So once I'm happy with that, then I'll hit the accept and proceed button at the bottom. All right, and now if the background looks a little bit dark, but we can adjust it later on the next step. So don't worry about that too much. Uh, so once we're happy with that, we'll hit download image to your device. Hit download. And then at the top, you'll see a circle with an arrow pointing down. You'll click on that button on the top right and just choose the picture that you just uh, downloaded. So I the top one there for me and there's the photo and then we'll go ahead and save it so the bottom uh, left hand corner of the screen you'll see a box with an arrow pointing up you'll click that button it'll pop up the screen and you'll just click save image and that'll save it to your photo library so once we have that saved we can go on to the next step which is to go to a website called idphotoforyou.com so once you get there this is the website what it looks like you'll just scroll down to the bottom you know, make sure the country is right, your photo, make sure it says passport and visa, and then make sure it is uh, four by six inches. Once those are all selected, you wanna go to choose file uh, from your photo library and pick the picture you just saved on your phone from the last step. And then you'll click all these boxes here and then you'll hit upload. It'll bring you to this screen and then you just wanna, uh, and then here you can actually adjust your uh, brightness and contrast settings. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here. Mine's uh, my background is just a little bit dark for me, so I'm going to actually brighten it up and maybe even touch up the contrast uh, to get some more definition into my face. So I don't want to make it too blurry. So I think I like these settings here. So once I'm happy with the settings, I'll just hit next. So the object here is to get the top green bar. Uh, place on the very top of your head and then the bottom green bar at the bottom of your chin. So I'm going to try to adjust it uh, so that it works. Now this one's a little bit finicky with the uh, whole cropping thing so it takes a little bit of time to get used to. Now you could also do this on a desktop too if you're having trouble doing this. I just wanted to show you all on the iPhone. So I'm going to adjust it. There we go. And that looks pretty good there. So I think I'm happy with that position there. The top bar is at the top of my head. The bottom bar is at the bottom of my chin. That looks good to go. Uh, we'll scroll down and hit the button Make Photo. It'll bring up this screen, and then you'll have to download the photo. So you're going to have to go scroll all the way down to the bottom. So we'll go down. We'll see the uh, preview of the photo that's, that's going to be presented. So there it is right there. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, that looks like a passport photo to me. So it takes about a minute for it to download completely. So yeah, there's a timer there. And then once the timer is done, it'll pop up a blue button that says download. We'll click the download button and then you'll hit download. And then at the very top right, there's that circle with the arrow in it. You click that and click the photo we just saw on the preview. There's the photo. And then we will on the bottom left hand corner again there's the save uh, that box with the arrow pointing up click that button hit save image that'll go to your photo library and once we have that downloaded it's ready to print so when it comes to printing out your photos there's a lot of different options you can choose from you can choose from going online to a cvs or walgreens or even a target upload your photo now you have to create an account with those stores uh, but you just create an account upload your photo and then they'll print it out for you and just go pick it up same day uh, for about 35 cents or so. Uh, or if you're an Amazon Prime member like I am, you can go on to their Amazon Photo app and print it from there, which is what I'm going to show you here in this video. Now, it does take a few days to get to you. So if you're not in a hurry, this is a good option. So let me show you the process of how to print out your passport photo using Amazon Photos. The first thing you want to do is download the app if you don't have it already. Uh, so once you're on the app, you'll just click on the top left-hand corner. It says Prints. I'll bring up this screen here. You want to scroll down to the bottom where it says uh, photo prints. Click that option. And then you want to choose the top option because you need a glossy print for your passport photo. And you can see the options. We need a 4 by 6 so that is in the description there. So that helps you. And it says the price there starting at $0.15, cents, which is great. 
make sure you click on four by six and you'll select the the picture that we downloaded the four the tiny pictures and uh, it'll load up there and then you'll just go ahead and add it to your cart or check out and you'll get it in three to five days now if you decided not to take your passport photo yourself and wanted to go to a cvs and get yours done you can see here on the website if you wanted to have them take your photo and print it out it'll cost you $14.99 you can see it's $15 compared to $0.16, cents, what I just did. And say if you had four family members who were getting their passports done at the same time, uh, that's $60 just to get your passport photo taken at CVS as opposed to $0.16 cents a person if you're doing it yourself. So it's a huge cost savings to you if you go that route. So I just got my passport photos back from Amazon, and they got it to me in two days, which is earlier than the three to five days it said it was going to be here. So I'm happy about that. And here's the end result of it. And then all you need to do is cut out uh, one of these pictures and take it with you if you're applying for the first time. Uh, you don't need to staple it to your application. But if you're renewing, you will have to staple it to your application. Just follow the instructions on where you need to staple it at, and then you're good to go. And then that's it. That's as simple as it gets. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, make sure to like the video and consider subscribing to get more travel-related videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.